Hi everyone, welcome back to Arting with Mrs. Gill. I'm Mrs. Gill. Hey, if you like this channel, uh, subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and then um, YouTube will notice me. Thank you for joining uh, today. Um, I took a couple days off, but now I'm back, back with a vengeance. And I wanted to kind of show you some of the art that I've been working on in this sketchbook. This is a sketchbook that I have been working on since fall of 2023, actually. And now it's spring 2024. So I, uh, I had sh initially shown you uh, these um, geographical designs or shapes. And what I have done is taken some Posca markers and filled up these spaces. Okay, anybody can do this. I recommend it. It's very relaxing. You don't have to use Posca markers. You can use crayons. You can use uh, trash bags. You can use regular note paper and pens. So anything you want that helps you relax and enjoy art. And that's what I like to do. And I hope you, you do too. So as you can see here, uh, these are originally were just plain. I made some uh, flowers in here. You can see that. I made some lines with circles. Again, when all else fails, draw circles. That's my motto. And then I did some other uh, doodling in these spaces. And over here, I did the same. I did the same as here, which are just lines in three circles. Then I went ahead and I made a uh, little flower over here. I'll go in and color them and that will give it another layer of fun. Again, I am not a professional artist by any means. I do this for fun and relaxation and uh, I hope you enjoy watching. I really enjoy watching people do art and color. I think it's so relaxing, even the sound of it, hear that? And so that's what I enjoy. On these Poscas, you shake them up. Sometimes the ink will come out really fa ah, fast like that. Oh dear. So I'm just gonna let those go. See, I've kind of made some big blobs. Uh, they will eventually dry, but if you don't like it, you can always take a rag and uh, swatch it. That's what I do. This is my designated art rag. So I go like that. Oh, good. I take up all that extra ink without ruining uh, my work. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do here. But we got to remember with these acrylic markers, if you make a mistake, It'll dry and then you can just go over it with another layer. And you can see here the mistakes I've made here. And that's okay because with these markers or any acrylic, ugh, acrylic marker, you can go over it. Okay, so now I'm going to be a little more careful with pressing down so the ink doesn't get all over everything. So as you can see here, that's a pale kind of orange on that purple but it'll dry and then I'll put another layer on it and it'll pop more and then I'll probably do some kind of uh, doodling inside so let's see what else we have what other color I can use this this is a uh, Posca bigger marker these are actually what size 8.0 8k they're called and oh, look at the vibrant color. And this is on purple. I probably will want to go back and put another um, shade on there, but isn't that great? See that color? Um, it really pops on darker shades. And um, whoops, if you get out of the line, don't worry about it because I can always go back with a uh, black marker and finish my eye out my lines. That's what I typically do. So that's an example of some things that we can do. We can also um, make the uh, 
flower of orange petals like this. I hope you're all having a good day. It's Friday. Yay! So um, I hope you're out having fun. We were able to go to a movie today and it was good to get out of the house. Uh, I'm pretty much a homebody uh, and I like to sit around and do art and do art projects. Um, like I say, I've always been kind of crafty, but um, kind of kept it to myself. But being crafty and doing art is relaxing, and, and I think it's relaxing for other people to watch too, not just me. So I hope you're enjoying this channel. If you are, give me a thumbs up and come back to more sketchbooking and art crafts, unpackaging, a whole bunch of stuff. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.